don't know if I would call it uh, necessarily typical, but sort of the way things go, you know, on average, it takes about two years to get diagnosed with MG on average. But that kind of depends on who you see first in the sense of what physician are you seeing first. If you see uh, a primary care physician first um, and you're not presenting with traditional uh, symptoms of MG, like the droopy eyelids uh, or some slurring speech, it might not be as difficult or it might not be as easy for that physician to immediately think of MG. Um, and we know with MG, there's weakness and, and, and fatigue, and those are obviously symptoms that are part of so many other diseases. So um, it does take some time to get to a neurologist or a neuromuscular expert, but once an individual is there, uh, there's several really good ways to make the diagnosis. Obviously, the uh, physical examination is always important, uh, but really the gold standard is through uh, serology and testing of uh, antibodies. So it really depends on uh, the patient journey, and this is really why it's important to highlight uh, MG and let the patients uh, and the caregivers and the patients themselves advocate uh, if they understand what's going on.